Good evening everybody. It's Tuesday, March 17th and it's a really dreary rainy day out and that's perfect because today I'm going to plant some bare root strawberries. Now this is not my first rodeo with bare root strawberries. They are a very affordable way of purchasing strawberries and in here I have uh, a box full of Quinault strawberries that I ordered online for just a couple of dollars. And when you purchase bare root strawberries they're going to come in basically a bag like this and they're going to be completely dried out and they're going to have the green tops of the strawberries exposed and you can see them all here these actually look really nice and fresh but they are very dry and there are a few tricks of the trade when it comes to planting bare root strawberries so you'll be successful and uh, if you'll see right here, I have two five-gallon buckets. This is half full of water, just plain water right out of the tap. And this is slightly moistened potting soil that is uh, mostly cocoa core. So it's very nice and fluffy and it will hold water very well. So, the first thing that you want to do, and this is technically an optional step, but uh, you will get better results in general, is... Uh, you want to hydrate these bare root strawberries because uh, they're going to come pretty dry. So I'm going to remove this rubber band and I'm going to take these and I'm going to simply separate them. And you want to be pretty gentle because you don't want to rip up the roots too badly. You want to pull these apart. Now it's going to be quite difficult to pull these apart because they come intertwined, but if you're persistent, they will come apart. So all you want to do is simply drop these in the water bath to rehydrate them. And now that they've all been separated, I'm going to submerge all of these by simply taking my hand and pushing them all in. And then I'm going to simply set these buckets aside and I'm going to let that sit from anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes to hydrate back up. And I'm going to get out some trays because I'm going to choose to start my bare root strawberries in containers. You don't have to. You can plant them directly in the ground. But I find that starting these in containers makes them a little bit more manageable. I can start them in my greenhouse to give them extra heat that we're not quite getting yet at this point in the year. And it allows for much easier transplanting later. Let me start by saying that I love bare root strawberries because they're an incredibly affordable way to grow strawberry plants. I bought 25 plants and they only cost me about $10. So they're incredibly affordable. However, you need to set them up correctly because if you do not set them up, they will all rot and fail. So it's very important that you know what you're doing before you begin this procedure. In front of me, I have three and a half inch wide by three and a half inch long by three and a half inch deep pots. And I recommend that you do not go any smaller than this. This is about as small as you want to go. If you can go a little bit larger, that's even better because the bare root strawberry root systems tend to be pretty advanced. So you need a good bit of room for the root system to sprawl out. The second thing that you'll notice is that I only filled each container about a third of the way up the side. It's a very light and fluffy mix and I did not compact it down. And the reason why is because the roots are going to take up quite a bit of room and you're going to have to press down and you're really going to have to shift the roots around to fit in your container pretty well. So you're going to have to add soil on top of the root mass. Now here we have our pots all set up and prepped. So I'm going to reach into my water bucket and I'm going to grab a good example bare root strawberry. And this looks like a pretty darn good example right here. So this right here is what a bare root strawberry looks like. With the strawberry, you have the root mass down here, and then you have the top here, which is the crown. This is where the green growth is all going to come out of. This is going to be where your strawberry plant comes out. And this is a pretty obvious example right here. Now, the thing about bare root strawberries, and this is going to determine whether or not you're successful with doing this, is that you absolutely cannot bury the crown. You have to keep the crown above the soil level. So, if you look right here, here is where the crown begins. You cannot bury any of that. The soil level has to stop right here at the tops of the roots. And this entire green section that you see here, that must stick out of the soil 100%. So we'll use this container here as an example. 
it's about a third of the way full. So we're going to take our roots and we are simply going to put them inside of the container, but we are going to make absolute sure that they stick out above, that the crown sticks above the soil. So I'm simply going to take this and I'm going to add handfuls of soil and I'm going to press it around the roots. Again, making absolute certainty sure that we do not bury the crown. If you bury the crown under the soil, it will rot and your plants will fail. They absolutely must stay elevated. So that's why you don't want to take your, your containers and fill them up too much because it's easier to simply add your soil like this and then pick up the crown a little bit and then just simply elevate it above the soil level once you compact it a little bit. So once you have the crown where you want it to be, then you can simply press the soil down a little bit. So here you can see what the bare root strawberry should look like once you're done. And this is exactly what you want to see. You want to see that crown fully exposed above the soil level. So each one of these only takes about 20 seconds to pot up once you get a rhythm down. It goes really quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pot up all the rest of my bare root strawberries in the exact same way I just showed you. All of the bare root strawberries have been potted up, and one of the things that I love about buying bare root strawberries is the companies usually always toss in extra. I paid for 25, but I got 28, so I have a handful of extra in case some of them decide not to root and do fail. Now that they've all been up potted, I'm going to water in all of the soil in two different lifts. The first brief watering is just going to be to moisten things. I'm going to let them sit for a few minutes and then I'm going to water them in again. And now that they've all been watered in, I'm going to let them sit out here for about half an hour to drain completely, and then I'm going to carry them into my greenhouse. And here are all of my bare root strawberries inside the greenhouse. And strawberries, despite being very cold hardy, actually respond well to higher temperatures and humidity here in the spring. The higher temperatures and the humidity that will be provided in this greenhouse will have these bare root strawberries coming to life pretty quickly one point that I really want to drive home is how the crowns must stick above the dirt. So when I plant my strawberries, I make absolutely sure that I can see the very tops of those roots. Here you can see the very tops of those roots sticking up. And that's how you know that you are safe with your placement. The tops of the roots should just barely be visible. So here is the crown. If any of that is buried, it is going to rot. So, if you are unsure as to how high to plant your strawberry crowns, always err on the side of caution. It's better to be a little bit high than a little bit low. And if you can see the very tops of the roots, you know that you should be pretty safe from rot. And here we are two and a half weeks later on Sunday, April 5th. This is about what all of your bare root strawberries should look like two and a half weeks later. And overall, I'm really happy with the success rate of these bare root strawberries. Out of the 28 that we did get, 24 of them took root. And here you can see this full tray took root. Everything looks great. And here are the remainder. And you can see back here, there are four that didn't take. And this is to be expected. You can expect something like 10% of them are going to fail. That's why they give you additional. And I paid for, I think, 24. They gave me 28, and it looks like that I got all 24 that I actually paid for. So overall, that's a pretty good success rate and what you can expect from bare root strawberries. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future updates and more videos like these. If you're curious about anything that I use in my garden, everything that I use is linked in the Amazon storefront in the video description. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again on the next video.